Hey, what's up everybody? So this is a quick review for the Oakley Flake Jacket XLJ with Asian Fits. Um, so if you've seen my other videos, I do also have the Oakley Raider Pitch. Um, that's in all black. And I got this one because I saw it and I thought this is like a gorgeous sunglasses um, in white. Kind of flashy, but I'll be doing sports in it, so why not? Um, and also another big advantage of the Flake Jacket over the Raider Pitch, at least in my mind, is that it folds down compact versus the Raider Pitch, it's still really bulky even after you fold it down. So once you fold it down like this, I can easily just kind of clip it on my shirt um, versus like with the Raider Pitch, I have to kind of wear it backwards, you know, when I don't need it and just traveling with it, which looks slightly douchey. <laughs> but anyways, let's talk about the um, Flake Jacket. This is another quality sunglasses that came out with Oakley. Um, I've been a big fan of them simply because of the styling and the quality they, that seems to come out of the shop. And while shopping for this uh, the sunglasses, I was debating if I need the Asian fits or not. Um, so I'm kind of borderline. Like I have a little bit of a nose bridge, not super high like our Caucasian friends or other race. Um, my face is relatively wide and flat, uh, typical of Asians. Um, so because I plan to do a lot of sports with the sunglasses on, especially cycling. I figure, okay, well, let's do Asian fit with the higher, like with a larger nose pad and slightly, slightly wider frame, I think. I'm not positive, but you may want to double check on it. That's what I hear. Um, but the nose pad is for sure. I hear the Asian fit may have a slightly wider frame. Uh, it may fit a little bit more snug to my face. And especially if I'm doing a lot of sports with this sunglasses in mind, um, then I went ahead and got the Asian fits and it fits really, really well. Like it just locked on there. It's not moving at all. I know I look kind of silly like this, but just to give you like a shake a little bit, but then it's always sit back to the same spot as locked on and it's, it's great. So ever since I have the sunglasses, um, I did a lot of things in it. Like I went hiking, cycling, especially um, like a lot of water sports and I have no fear of it falling into the water because it fits so well. I know sometimes people have like little sunglass thing, string, rope, whatever that kind of tie behind the head to kind of ensure the sunglasses does not fall off their face. But this is so secure, you know, with the rubber grip and how it wraps around behind my ears that I'm pretty confident that it'll stay on my face. So, so far I have no issue with it, never had to fail off, even doesn't matter how violent I'm uh, shaking my head <laughs> or like rocking side to side. So no problem so far, knock on wood. Um, but this video, the main purpose is kind of like give you a sense of how it looks on an Asian face and how it fits on an Asian face. Granted, this is the Asian fit or alternative fit if you want to be more PC. I'm Asian, I'm not offended by it, so no problem. Uh, so it fits excellent. I'll walk around a little bit. So with sports in mind, um, I, I think like the Asian fit actually fit me more snugly. If it's just like a casual sunglasses, uh, no problem at all, it doesn't matter. Uh, if it slip a little bit, I push it back up, but I have not had a lot of slippage in terms of sunglasses so far. So thankfully. Uh, so now let me, because I think some people actually buy the sunglasses for cycling, figure maybe I should put on a helmet so you can kind of get a sense of how it looks with the helmet. So this is a Ruby project. And when I wear my sunglasses while cycling, I like to tuck it under the strap to kind of further hold it in place. So I feel like uh, the styling of the sunglasses goes pretty well with cycling helmets and just like sport in general because it looks so sporty. All right, and let me take that off. And just to kind of give you a sense of how big my face is, I'm gonna put on my Wayfarer, everybody's favorite sunglasses, of course. And this is a 55 millimeter, uh, the new Wayfarer. Okay. And this guy fits relatively well too and sits on my the bridge of my nose. Um, and no problem with it slipping. Well, it slips slightly, all right? But it just slipped to here. So my nose bridge is, is there, but it's not high. Um, just to give you a sense. Now this is how a wafer look on my face, and I'm gonna put on the Oakley flake jacket again. Okay, 
So that's pretty much it. Just a quick video to kind of give you a sense of like how it fits on an Asian face. And um, between Asian fits and regular fits, in terms of the Oakley Flake Jacket XLJ, uh, for me personally, the Asian fits fits better. Um, I tried on the regular fits. It's not bad as well. It's It fits as well. But after trying this on, it really locks it onto my face. So for this one, the Asian fit works for me. All right, well, hope this video helps you make the decision. And again, like always, uh, if you're interested in buying this exact pair, I have the Amazon link directly to products underneath in the video description. Okay, talk to you guys later.